from farming in the field. Whether they were farmers, there were dairy farmers and duck farmers. To diamonds at Fortunoff and schmears at Bagel Boss. There has been Jewish history on Long Island for so long and it has been overlooked until now. 300 years of Jewish business now on display at the Holocaust Memorial and Tolerance Center of Nassau County, showcasing generations of Jewish business on Long Island. You walk through learning about the horrors and the history of the Holocaust, but then you end in this beautiful, uplifting way, learning about how Jewish people thrived right here on Long Island, both before, during, and after the Holocaust. Over 100 artifacts and photographs from more than 60 Long Island businesses. The goal is to gain a deeper understanding of how Jews worked and thrived and why so many of them moved here from the city. It was people wanting to maybe get out of the crowded areas of the Lower East Side and wanting to uh, earn a living in different professions that were available to them out east. There's an ice pick, tongs and saw from the first ice manufacturer in Amityville from the 1890s. A 13-foot sign from the old Lang shoe store from 1937. And a menu from a restaurant in St. James where just a few cents could get you a full meal. There were pickle manufacturers uh, from East Northport. There were factory workers in Sag Harbor who manufactured watch cases. A boot Legger from Glen Cove is also highlighted. He owned a liquor store and once prohibition was passed, he started manufacturing and selling alcohol illegally. He sold liquor to the wealthy estate owners on the Gold Coast by taking a boat out into uh, Hempstead Harbor and making the exchange there to be out of the view of the authorities. A rich history now revived for a whole new generation. Open to the public before September. Jody Goldberg, Fox 5 News.